Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my BTEC from NIT Raut Kela in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Now, let us see how to solve this given question. Here, we have to show that the lines whose DCs are given by these two equations and we have to show that they are perpendicular to each other. How, now, how to do it? Let's get started. Uh, just for your information, this question is a little different from our usual DCs and DRs, I mean, like usual ones, like how? Uh, if you'll try to factorize it, it will not get factored. I'll show you, see. What are the two equations L plus M plus N equal to zero? This is the first equation and this is the second equation. The first equation, I'm going to write it as L is minus M minus N, okay? Mark it as equation one. What is the second equation? This, 2MN plus 3NL minus 5LM equal to zero. Why wait, just put L as minus M minus N in this, now in place of L. Where do you see L? You see it here and here. In place of L, just put minus M minus N, okay? So 2MN plus 3N into minus M minus N minus 5M into minus M minus N equal to 0 from 1, fine? Now just multiply this, 3N into minus M minus 3MN and 3N into minus N minus 3N square. Likewise, minus 5M into minus M, that would be plus 5M square and minus 5M into minus N is going to be plus 5N. This is what you have. Okay. Now see, uh, 2MN minus 3MN, it's going to be minus MN and minus MN plus 5MN, 4MN. So what I'd get is 5M square plus 4MN minus 3N square equal to 0. Okay. Let's see if I can factorize this. Like in the previous questions, now this could be factorized, but here, it's not possible. Now see here, why? What is 5 into minus 3 minus 5 into minus 3 is minus 15, okay. How can I write minus 15 as product of two numbers? How can I write minus 15 as product of two numbers such that their sum is 4? Is it possible? See, I can write minus 15 as uh, 1 into minus 15. That's not possible. Uh, uh, minus 1 into 15, no. And uh, 5 into minus 3, 5 plus minus 3 is 2. That's not possible. Minus 5 into 3, that also is not possible. So, I cannot factorize this. In that case, what to do? In that case, what you can do is divide this equation by n square and get a quadratic in m by n. Okay. Now, why? Why? You might ask me, sir, why? Why we are doing this? Just follow the process at the end, you'll understand why. Okay. Now, divide this equation by n square. Now, if you were to do this, what you would get is 5 m square by n square plus 4 m n by n square. 1 n, 1 n will get cancelled in the next step. You'll see minus 3 n square by n square and n, n square n square cancel. So this is what you'll get 5 into m by n whole square plus 4 into m by n minus 3 equal to 0. Okay. Now if you'll observe this, this is actually a quadratic in m by n. This is actually a quadratic in m by n. Now for a quadratic equation, for a quadratic equation, ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, product of roots, product of roots is given by c by a. Product of roots is given by c by a. So here c is minus 3 and a is 5. So product of the roots. Now for this equation, see generally, if it is an if it is a quadratic equation in x, we take the roots as x1 and x2. That's how we take it, right? In general. But, but here my root, it is a quadratic in m by n. So let, let us take the roots as m1 by n1 and m2 by n2. The above is a quadratic equation in m by n. Its roots are m1 by n1 and m2 by n2. Now product of the roots. Uh, m1 by n1 into m2 by n2 is nothing but c by a which is minus 3 by 5. Now what you can do is uh, send it as like m1 m2 by 3 equal to send 3 here send n1 into there. So minus n1 into by 5 so that minus send it down so n1 into by minus 5. Why did I do this you will understand because I want an m1 m2 by 3 here not m1 m2 by minus 3 okay. Why you will understand it in the uh, in the following steps okay. Mark this as equation 2, mark this as equation 2 now. Again, we need to repeat the same process. You see, we did some process. We wrote L as uh, minus M minus N, right? That's what uh, we did. Now, what you can do is, now what you can do is, now try to write N as minus L minus M. Try to write N as minus L minus M. What is this? What, is, what was the second equation? This is what, right? Now put N as minus L minus M in this equation. If you would do so, uh, where is n? n is here and here. Now, if you will do so, 
what you'll end up getting is 2m into minus l minus n plus 3l into in place of n minus l minus n minus 5lm is 0. Right? 2m into minus l is minus 2lm, 2m into minus m is minus 2m square, 3l into minus l is minus 3l square, 3l into minus m is minus 3lm and minus 5lm. This is what you have. Now see. Uh, minus 2lm minus 3lm minus 5lm minus 5lm minus 5lm is minus 10lm so i would get minus 3l square minus 10lm minus 2m square equal to 0 all the terms are minus so there's too much negativity r here <laughs> okay there's just too much negativity why can't we do something about it yeah we can do just multiply it with minus so it would become this 10 uh, 3l square plus 10lm plus 2m square equal to 0 looks better right looks better so much of negativity already life is filled with so much negativity in that in question also negativity oh my gosh uh, let's hope we don't have that fine now same story we try to factorize it 3 into 2 is 6 6 how can you write 6 so that you get a 10 in between that's not possible it's not possible to factorize it so what to do what to do what not to do what not to do what to do mm -hmm. thing divide by m square in this case divide by m square so 3l square by m square plus 10lm by m square plus 2m square by m square is 0 now what i get is uh, 1m 1m cancels so 10l by m 3l square by m square i can write as l by m whole square and here plus 2 so 3 into l by m whole square plus 10 into l by m plus 2 equal to 0 now, if you'll observe this, this is nothing but a quadratic. This is nothing but a quadratic in L by M. Okay, this is a quadratic in L by M. Ro again, same story. Roots are L1, L1 by M1 and L2 by M2. Product of the roots is C by A, 2 by 3. Now, send 2 here, M1, M2 there. So, I'd get L1, L2 by 2 equal to M1, M2 by 3. Mark this as equation 4. Hey, what was our equation? What was our equation 2? It was m1, m2 by 3. The, here I got m1, m2 by 3. Now see this. Now see this. See this. Here also I got m1, m2 by 3. Okay. Now, now I'll write that equation here. What was that equation was? m1, m2 by 3 is equal to n1, n2 by minus 5. This is what I got. This is what I got. So you see l1, l2 by 2 is m1, m2 by 3. m1, m2 by 3 is n1, n2 by minus 5. That's why I did not keep a minus here. Okay this was the reason because i uh, the, i know that this word is going to come so that's why i kept minus here now a equal to b b equal to c so a equal to b equal to c so l1 l2 by 2 is equal to m1 m2 by 3 is equal to n1 n2 by minus 5 fine sir so i got something but what is the use of it that they, they are asking us to show that the lines are perpendicular or something like that they are asked right now take this as k okay take this as k why i'll tell you so l1 l2 is 2k l1 l2 by 2 is k so l1 l2 is 2k m1 m2 is 3k and n1 l2 is minus 5 okay if dc's are what when when we know dc's of two lines okay when we know dc's of now let's go back to the question once let's go back to the question once show that the lines whose dc's are given by that means the lm and here are giving dc's okay of two lines dc's i'm getting that's what i you know uh, of two lines dc is l good i would get l1 m1 n1 and l2 m2 n2 what is the formula of cos theta when we know the dc's of the two lines the formula is this i just show you this is the formula cos theta okay i'll show, i'll show you the formula i think that would make sense cos theta is nothing but mod of l1 l2 plus m1 m2 plus n1 n2 this is the formula so you see i already got l1 l2 m1 m2 n1 m2 for this reason for this reason i did all this okay dividing by m first dividing by n square then dividing by m, m square getting a quadratic like that l1 by l1 l2 by m1 m2 all that so that i get this l1 l2 plus m1 m2 plus n1 l2 now just find out l1 l2 plus m1 m2 plus n1 l2 if the lines are perpendicular theta will be 90 degrees cos theta is 0 that means this should be 0 this, if this if i get this as 0 that means the lines are lines are perpendicular so what would i get l1 l2 is 2k m1 m2 is 3k and n1 n2 is minus 5k this is 0 this is 0 
Hence, the given lines are perpendicular. This zero means what? Cos theta is zero. Cos theta is zero means what? Theta is ninety degrees. Okay, very. We are done. Thank you very much. Arigato gozaimashita. Zamnida. Well, the first one was Japanese. Arigato gozaimash. And the second one was Korean. Zamnida. Uh, it means both mean thank you. Thank you.